Welcome to Southwest Yard and Garden. I'm John White. Today we're going to be talking about some tree problems and as you can see behind me we have an open trench and some plant material that has died and one thing that we run across occasionally and we get different calls on it is gas leaks and this is an example of a very large natural gas leak that happened in this landscape and uh, we were looking at why some of the plant material died and we uh, started looking around and uh, could smell a little odor and had the city come out and make a, an inspection and did find a gas leak. So let's talk about natural gas leaks and what it does to landscape material. So we'll go over and take a look at some of the plant material. Here we have a Mexican elder tree that has succumbed to the natural gas that was trapped underneath the plastic and moved through the soil. Depending on the type of soil, uh, its physical makeup, how well it's compacted, uh, all makes a difference in how this gas will move through the area. And of course, having the plastic on it, which we don't recommend around landscape material, uh, it helps to trap the gas in it. So basically, this plant has suffered just from lack of oxygen. And um, this, is, this tree is dead, so it's going to have to be removed. But you can see it just um, fried it with the, with the leaves on the tree, so it was a very quick quick death in this instance. So uh, again, we'll take a look at some more plant material. Here's an Indian hawthorn that was uh, damaged with, again with the natural gas leak. You can see we got quite a bit of foliage burn. We do have some uh, live tissue here, so now that the problem's been detected, you know, we'll try and get the soil aerated, get some air into it, get the gas out of the soil, and we'll trim the bush back, any dead branches, go ahead and take those off and hopefully we will uh, maybe get some regrowth and maybe this bush will go ahead and be okay. Um, as we look down the line, there are uh, several plants that are completely dead. Those are going to have to be replaced. And when we're looking at uh, you know, how to reclaim an area after it's been damaged by natural gas, we want to open the area up. You know, we're going to need to take the rock and the plastic and stuff like that off get the area opened up. We may need to till the ground to really try and get the, the gas smell out of the soil and try and get a microorganism population going again. And once we do that, then we can go ahead and plant back into it. But uh, that gas smell may be very shallow or it could be very deep. So it's going to require a little bit of extra work just to make sure that's done there. So uh, this is kind of what a, a natural gas leak situation kind of looks like. Uh, best thing to do is to know where your gas lines run. If you are having plant problems near those gas line areas, then uh, you do want to call the gas company out. Uh, they do come out, especially if it's a leak type situation, they'll come out very quick. They have sophisticated equipment to detect whether there is a, a leak in it. And uh, if there is, then they'll shut it off and take care of the problem there. So uh, again, just odd situations that we run across.